60 watt desktop speakers with super high fidelity, you know you want to hear about these. Hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I want to talk about audio fidelity because I review a lot of audio gear, a lot of Bluetooth speakers, and they're generally single unit standalone. Now, they might say they're stereo, but if you have a single sound source, it's really mono. So if you have something like an Amazon Echo, then you're really listening to stereo music mono. It might have multiple speakers, but it's still from one place. That's why I was really psyched when Audio Engine came out with these. These are the Audio Engine HD3, and these are 60 watt desktop speakers with tons of capabilities. And it's a pair of speakers. Now, yes, you actually wire between them, but you know what? I am perfectly willing to have some wire issues because the quality, the output that you get is well worth it. So I can talk more, but let's go ahead and let me show you. I have them hooked up to this little guy. This is an Amazon Dot. So this is part of the Echo family. I'm trying to avoid the other word, you'll see why. And I have it hooked up to the speakers, and then I have it hooked up via Bluetooth to my phone. So I can actually hook my phone up directly to the speakers via Bluetooth with aptX, but it doesn't give me voice control, and that's kind of cool. So let's start out. Alexa, what's the weather outside? In Boulder, it's 41 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for cloudy skies with a low of 26 degrees. 26 degrees, brr. But importantly, what you've caught here is that we're using this system through these really nice speakers. So it sounds really good. But let's go ahead and listen to some music too. Alexa, resume. Resume in Bluetooth. <laughs> So, very nice. Let's make it a little louder so you can hear it better. So, stereo speakers, 60 watts, lots of bass, lots of sound. Really beautiful. Alexa, stop. When it gets loud, you have to sort of yell at the device for it to hear you, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. But um, the HD3, yes. I can hook it up directly to an audio source. You could hook it up to your TV and get way better sound just by doing that. In fact, you can hook up a subwoofer too. So these really can be the basis of a nice home theater system. But let me show you on the back, and I'll cut away because this is a lot to look at, is there's a lot of inputs. There's a lot of different ways you can use these speakers. There's USB, which is your preferred connection for a desktop system or a laptop. And the reason those are the best for that is because on a desktop system, if you use USB, you bypass the frankly crummy little amplifier that's built into the computer and use instead the high quality amplifier that's part of the HD3 system. In addition, you can see there's a mini jack, that's how I have the Echo hooked up, and there's RCA output and input. There's a, this is a wireless antenna connector and, you know, there's all sorts of stuff. But notice also there's a bass reduction switch. And I think that's kind of cool. It's like you can actually decide, uh, this is pushing out a little more bass than I like. So you can fix that. Now, back to the speaker, if we pop the little front grill off, you can see that on the bottom we have a 2.75 inch Kevlar woofer and the top is a three quarter inch silk tweeter. So those are actually pretty nice. It's nice components. This is walnut. It also comes in what they call satin black or cherry, which is obviously a redder finish. Um, these are very nice. They even have on the bottom, they have screw mounts if you want to put them on stands like a home theater or you want to figure out some way to suspend them maybe up from the ceiling or something works out it's super easy and it makes life so much easier if you want to actually mount them somewhere what else can i tell you um, has a headphone jack on the front and if you plug in the headphones the speakers don't work so that's a perfect thing to do at work right so at work when you're by yourself or you're in working in the evening you use the speakers but during the day when there's other people around maybe you plug in your headphones and you do it that way instead and both ways you're still going to enjoy the really nice quality audio amplifier that's built into the speaker so 
The only thing I need to tell you is the price tag. These are audiophile level gear. So these, the pair, are $399. Now that includes free shipping and the company covers sales tax, so that's your price out the door. Out the door. See, that sounds very retail. That's your price out the door in any of the three colors that you like. You can learn more about them at AudioEngineUSA.com. And if you're intrigued by this little Amazon dot, then I actually think these are awesome. I have many of these sort of devices throughout the house. I love being able to say, stream my favorite radio channel, and it just starts playing. Uh, you can interact with it in terms of timers and cooking and homework assignments. Lots you can do with it. It's just super fun. And these are on sale, $39. If you don't manage to pick them up on sale, it's only $49. Standalone unit. You don't even need to plug it into speakers. But of course, it's the perfect companion for the Audio Engine HD3. Now, since we've had all this discussion, can I ask you to do me a favor and click on the subscribe link and subscribe to my channel. You done that for me? Awesome. Thank you. This is Dave Taylor, and I'll catch you in my next video.